What's up, world? Welcome to Yields with Yodi. You know me, we get straight to the point. Today, I'm going to be talking about Interactive Brokers, IBKR Pro. I'm going to show you guys my setup. This is a great brokerage in regards to filling your orders. It's even better than Thinkorswim. Your orders are filled instantaneously. Very quick. Now, I'm going to show you guys my setup. All right, so first, you're going to open up the, the platform. You're going to go down here, this little plus sign. As you can see, I already have my setup. But if you want your new setup, you're going to click down here. You're going to hit the plus sign. You're going to type whatever name you want. You can put sculpting, whatever, etc. All right, we're going to type it down. We're going to hit create, right? All right, the first thing you're going to do where it says start here, you're going to click no window. And you're going to put up your option chain. Very important. I like my option chain to be kind of, kind of big. All right, stretch it out. All right, after you add the option chain, the next thing you can add is, a, is your chart. I don't really use this brokerage for charting. For that, I use Thinkorswim. This is mainly to fill my orders because it fills your order very quickly. All right, the next thing you're gonna add, I guess you can add your chart. Let's see if I find it. Here it goes. Can I just chart? Whoa, what happened here? Sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Are right, you gonna add your chart? I usually put your chart right here, I would assume. You guys want your chart just like that. And if you wanna add any indicators, any, any, any moving averages, whatever you like, you can click this little arrow right here and you will add a, add a study. Uh, you can add a, a moving average, whatever you like. I intend to use a, exponential and if you want to edit it you right click it and you hit edit indicator you choose whatever you want so it, the nine is here so that's fine with me you hit apply okay all right the next thing you want to add is a watch list okay you're going to click watch list all right make it as big as you like i think this is this is fair enough for me Okay, for the watch list, you can edit this. You can hit uh, edit, settings, change percentage. Uh, I, you can remove that. You can remove also the change. You can remove also the last. You can add uh, the bid. Add the bid. You're going to hit add. You're going to add the, uh, the ask. Also, I also have the volume. You're gonna add the volume. And you're gonna hit apply, okay? Also, what's so cool about this, you can, uh, let's say if you wanna do a QQQ 345 call. What you're gonna do, you're gonna click it, and you're gonna drag it right here. Marvelous. So you can do the, what I had, I dragged whatever, what, what call was that, I forgot. You can grab any other call, let's see, you grab the 350 call, you drag it in there. What you can do, you can put, you can click your mouse, how, how I have it is, guys, this is marvelous. I usually have a, a watch list for calls. I will, I will type calls right here. Now I'll have another watch list. In the other watch list, I'll have it, let's say I'll have it named puts, okay? As you can see, I already have calls and puts. I don't want to edit another one. But I guess you can do whatever, you can add whatever, a new watch list, whatever you like. And in this watch list, you can drag the puts. You go right here, you drag your puts, right? Boom. So in here, you have your calls, and on this side, you have your puts. You can, you can rename it however you want, okay? So again, I have hotkeys. So with just the click of a button, my contracts, I'll, I'll, place, I'll click that one button and I have it set up where I, where I buy one, five, four, whatever, et cetera, okay? So that is very, very helpful. Uh, for this, you can, I guess you can see. If you wanna stretch it out, you can do it like this, no big deal, however you like, okay? Also, what I like to add is, uh, I also add, 
the order entry, okay? It's very important. Order entry. Also, there's a couple settings you can have for this, okay? You know, you know how it's settings, right? There's your interactive type where you have to type it in. You got to put your, whether you want to buy or sell, and, you, and then you got to hit submit. You also have the simplifier where you just hit submit. This is the one I like, the rapid transmit. This is great for sculpting. You can just press the button and it buys automatically. So this is the one I like, rapid transmit. You're going to hit apply, okay? Also, another thing you need to add is, let me show you guys, it's going to be your quote details. You don't have to, but it's, it's not bad to have, okay? I'm going to drag it. I'm going to drag it here, okay? Make this a little smaller, like a fit. Boom. So basically, this lets you know the details of, of the contracts. Click it right here. It's going to tell you the, the last, the bid, the ask, the imply volatility, etc. It's pretty neat to have, in my opinion. Not bad at all. Okay, after that, you're going to want to click new window again. And you want to look at order management, okay? You're going to click orders, okay? I'm going to drag it. And this, this shows you when your orders get filled, when you sell, etc. It's pretty, it's pretty neat. You can also add your summary, your trades, whatever you want. You add them right here. So this is also pretty neat. Not bad at all. You add it a little bit. Also, another thing that you want to add, it's going to be another watch list. Okay. This watch list you added here. Make it a little smaller. It's like a fit. All right. That's good enough for me. All right. I'm going to show you guys how to add the names. Okay. So for the names, you can type, uh, what is it? QQQ. You got to hit shift enter and it'll add it. Okay. So you can add spy. You're going to hit shift enter again. And you can keep adding uh, whatever brokerages, I mean, whatever stocks you trade, Tesla, Shift, Enter, et cetera, okay? And then it'll pop up automatically. Also, if you want to unlink the chart, you're going to click this button right here, and you're going to click whatever group, group you like. This is just like Thinkorswim. And you, again, you unlink them. It's all up to you. You can have it so when you press these, these, these contracts right here, it doesn't pop up here, okay? You can have it that way. So you can uh, automatically switch it so it doesn't, you can switch this to, let's say, group two, okay? Group two, and then make this one also group two. But that way, when you click it, but when you click it, you can see it, it doesn't change the chart, only strictly from here. It's all up to you, you have it how you like. So this is also pretty decent, okay? Also, if you want to have your your, your P and L or whatever, some traders don't like to have their P and L while they're trading. They don't like to see how much they're up. They like to focus strictly on the candles, which is understandable. But if you do want to see your P and L while you're trading, you want to see how much you're up. You're gonna click window, and you're gonna hit uh, portfolio, right? You can add it right here if you like. And uh, you can you can uh, you can close this down. You can make it bigger, however you like. Okay, it's all up to you. All right. All right. Now let me show you the the, the cool tricks on how to set up your hotkeys when, uh, when when filling your orders. Okay. All right. So you're gonna click here, settings, and you're gonna go to hotkeys. Okay. I'm gonna show you how to uh, how to set up your hotkeys. For sculpting, if you want to sculpt, you want it to be very quick and very fast, okay? So for buying, you're going to hit the buy. You're going to hit create order, okay? And you're going to hit record and hit whatever whatever hotkeys you want it to be. It could be, it could be shift, uh, H, whatever you like, okay? You're going to hit customize. You're going to hit buy. For default, you're going to hit absolute. You're going to put whatever, whatever amount you want to buy. 50, 1, 2, 3, whatever you like, okay? For order type, I always choose limit, okay? Always choose limit. For buying, you want to buy at the ask. When you're sculpting, you want to buy the ask. You want it to be very quick. You want your orders to get filled very quick, okay? 
And for destination, you want to have it smart. So that way, the system itself, it'll, it'll choose the best contracts and it'll fill at the best price, whether it's mid, bid, or ask, okay? And you're gonna hit transmit the order instantaneously, okay? So when you hit this shift, shift H or whatever you like, you want your order to fill instantaneously. You're gonna hit okay. And you're gonna hit right here, reply, boom, okay? Now for selling, and you can, you can, you can create multiple of these, okay? You can see I have, I have a bunch. You can create multiple, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do the sell with the sell side. For sell, you're gonna hit sell, you're gonna hit create. You're gonna hit record, and you can hit a shift, whatever you like, shift Q, whatever you like, okay? You're gonna hit customize. It's gonna be sell. Order type is gonna be absolute again. I mean, the size is gonna be absolute, sorry. And you're gonna put whatever amount you want, one, two, three, four, five, whatever you like, whatever amount. I guess we could put 10. Matter of fact, let's do 50 like the other one. For the order type, you're gonna hit limit. Okay? And for the limit price, you're gonna hit bid. When you're scalping, you wanna you wanna sell very quick, and the quickest way to, to, to sell is at the bid, okay? Again, destination, it has to be smart. And again, we're gonna hit transmit instantaneously. We're gonna hit yes, and you're gonna hit okay. All right, you're gonna hit apply. I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have a, a, a high key setup for that. So what you're gonna do is when you when you're scalping, I'm usually I'm I'm usually looking at a I think or swim. I'm looking at the chart. You know, hover over it. And you're gonna hit shift whatever you, you have it set up. I have a where I buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, I have my stream deck. So I'm gonna show you guys. I have my stream deck. Uh, I have it where I buy one, buy two, buy three, buy four, etc. Again, you don't have to go. Oh, let me let me go let me go to the and click the whatever strike I need to buy. You don't have to panic and go through through contracts. Simply, you have them all here, all your calls here on this side right here. You hover over them, you hit your hotkey, boom, and it buys it for you instantly. You want to go to puts? I, I have them in zipper watchlist because I don't want to get confused, you know. So the, the name right here, it wouldn't say watchlist, it would say puts. Let me show you guys. This is how I have mines, okay? I have a puts, calls, okay? And I have my hotkeys again. If you want to be sculpting very quickly, I, I bought a, a stream deck. This is a stream deck XL. It has about, I don't know, maybe like 34 keys. So as you can see, I literally just press the buttons and it'll buy, sell. Very, very, very cool. Let me show you guys. Let me, uh, let me drop an option over here. I'm gonna hover over it. I'll hit my button. Boom. But since the market is closed, and I do have some funds on hold, all my funds haven't been um, deposited. I'm still missing about 6,500. This account should be at 11,500 around there. Again, the market is closed, so it won't let me do it. But when, you want, but when I press that button and when the market is open, my order is gonna fill instantaneously, okay? But since the market is closed, it won't get filled, okay? So again, I have it with my stream deck where I press the buttons and I already know where my sell and buy buttons are. So I don't even really need to look at, at IBKR Pro. I'm, sh I'm looking at my charts. You can also look here at the one minute. But remember, you gotta hover over your call or put and you, and you click the, the whatever hotkeys you have to set it up, etc. Buy one, sell one, etc. okay? All right, guys, now I'm gonna show you how to set up your stream deck. So you can open the stream deck app. Here it says search. You're gonna type hotkeys. You're gonna drag the little robot in whatever space you have open. For the title, you can, you can hit buy, whatever you like. Let's put by uh, 50. 50, okay. Whatever. But here, the hotkeys, you're gonna put whatever hotkey you have. Shift, whatever. Whatever hacky you have set up in your IBK or Pro, you're gonna type that there. I like to have pictures in my uh, my hacky, so I'll drag. I have a buy picture, so I'll drag it there. As you can see, it automatically pops up. So you go one by one, you start adding your hotkeys, and with your stream deck, I have it with the press of a button. It'll buy my contracts automatically. I don't have to go rushing 
But again, you have to hover over the call. I have it already like this. It has to be highlighted. And you hit whether you want to buy, whether you sell, etc. Okay. So this, this, this is very, very useful when you're sculpting. So this, this is my setup for IBKR Pro. Hope you guys like it. I highly recommend this, man. This, this platform is dope. I'll leave my link at the bottom in case you guys want to want to sign up but again if you're into scalping and day trading your orders get filled super quick guys super quick highly recommended and that's going to be all for today guys if you like the video hit the like button subscribe and click the little notification bell if you want my buy and sell alerts guys join the discord i've been hitting it out the park